知らない影を映す。バイバイ。歪み咲き誇る場所。伸ばせがもがいて刻んだ時間に触れた。ただ痛むのか見て描くのか僕の感情は。Where is the truth？ どこに隠すの？嘆きもせず。かけろきらめき目を覚ました声が高く続けた崩れない願いがあるんだろうだからそういうリズムにの衝動を走らせて守り尽きた笑顔迎えに泣き叫んで顔を出す捉えきれない日常に奪われていた記憶を悲しみから逃げ出して思い出と呼ぶ求められた理由に胸の奥。Okay, Gundam Evolution, take two. Oh shit! Let me fix that. Hold on. Sorry. It is. It has been a day. Venom Evolution. Okay. There we go. All right. Should be fixed now. <laughs> also, cheers, Tazarin. I hope you are well. Ninety-seven degrees where I live. Yep, it is not much better down here or up here.
way too hot. Indeed. We have to like freeze our water bottles now because they they just start dehydrating or um fucking humidifying. Hello, Revan. Good to see you. Who is Shiva? I only pray to the goddess. Poor John. I might need to get some water because the sandwich I have is really hot. Like, spicy. Mm. Yeah, that's Chipotle sauce. Ooh. Play a complete saga, the truth I guess started here. Uh, which one's the white giant Tazarin, or is that um, Xenoblade? Are we talking Gundam memes? Or, um, Xenoblade memes? Mmm. With some water. Oof.
All right, I am back. Then if Garfield franchise leading to the Eldritch Horror Garfield for their ads. You know, they did that once for an episode. It was like Cthulhu Garfield or something. Or, um, Azathoth Garfield? I don't remember. But yeah. Let's actually play Gundam Evolution. What? Yeah, it was for like an episode of the 3D cartoon. Like, Garfield was sent into space or something. Hold on. Actually, I'm debating if I should even look that up because that might give me the other search results. So... What was it? The Garfield Show? Garfield Show... Um... Space... Monster... Oh, right, I forgot. There was a whole, like, thing where, um... Apparently, sentient lasagna viewed Garfield as the fucking Antichrist or something, because they scouted Earth to conquer it and found Garfield, like, absolutely demolishing trays of lasagna. That is an actual... Found it. <laughs> Me. Put that in DM, because I'm not posting that in the server. Yeah, I remember that. There we go. <laughs> oh, by the way, I played four hours of Gundam Evolution last night. From the time it opened to set at 7.15 to, like, 11 at night. 11 p.m. I... I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Also, let's not hit the end stream button, because that's not a conversation I want to have. Yeah, Drake does not like it. The Eldritch Abomination, not Garfield. So let's swap over to this. Now, I know someone else, um, I think Fontaman, uh, tried to launch the game, and it wouldn't work. Uh, it kept crashing whenever he did the tutorial. I, however, did the tutorial on my own, without streaming it. So we should be good. Me. Okay, now it's not capturing for whatever reason. Was it the window capture that we had? There you go. Now, so far I've played... The capture's only showing the 1.4 of the screen. Shouldn't be, hold on. Ow. Okay, let's fix that real quick. Thank you. That should be better. But yeah, I have played with... I want to say roughly half of the roster of available mechs. Um, let's see here. I've played the Zaku 2, A Gundam. I think, I think it's called A Gundam. It's either that or Victory Gundam, but I could be very wrong. Uh, the GM Sniper 2, which, that one, you can one-shot people if you get a headshot. Like, they just fucking die. Uh, what else did I play as? Normal Gundam. Turn A, thank you. Uh, you know, the the bog-standard mobile suit from the original. Uh, who else was it? I played a little bit of Barbados, but he... The playstyle for that one didn't really match mine. Uh, shit, what's the other one? Zillin? The, um... The red one with the shield and shotgun, I played that one a lot, too. Was pretty good at it. And there was one more that I can't remember the name of. 
I want to go full Zaku on people's ass. I will show you how to play Zaku because the Zaku is fucking fun. If you play, like, very fast and loose. Oh, the GM. I played with that. That one was... That one was fun. It took me a little... It took me a few tries, but I figured out how he plays. You gotta... You gotta have the shield up or he gets mulched. Sazabi? I think it... Yeah, the Sazabi. And... One more, who had, like, a fucking matchlock gun. I played, like, two minutes of the Dom Trooper, and... That was it. And then the Pale Rider is what you play for the tutorial. And he's more... It's more or less your bog-standard shooter. You got... A mid-range assault rifle, you got a grenade, and you got a heal, uh, heal field. Healing field. Crossbone. GM looks nice, though. Oh, also they have skins. And... Overwatch loot boxes. It... The meme of it being Gundam Evolution? It, it's not a meme. They, they straight up took all the mechanics and ideas in Overwatch... And put them into Gundam. And I will show you because the hero selection screen is literally just the hero customization screen from Overwatch. That one. That one on, on screen with the green one. Uh, it does have a free season pass. The daily stuff resets at 7. Or, wait. 6 o'clock. Okay, excuse me. Hey, at least this is free. It is, and so is the season pass for this one. So you can get red accents for the Gundam. You can get mint snow for Methus. And then, if you play all the way to the end, you get Char's Zaku 2S. And it even comes with a little, like, head crest, like his one does. Actually, let me go to the units. Yeah, so if you go to skin... And there's another skin that's hidden here, but, um... Yeah, it gets custom decals, and it gets a little... A little red crest on the top. Uh... There's four skins listed here, but I only see three. So I'm wondering if there's a secret one. Or, um... Wait, the Zaku is a four-star difficulty? Huh. That's weird, because I was playing through it really well. Uh, also... Me. Rimuru has uh, apparently reincarnated again as a mecha pilot. <laughs> uh, let me turn up all the volume things real quick. Are you guys able to hear me okay with it like this? Everything good? Rimuru is a space space noid. Yeah, okay, good. But yeah, so the Zaku 2, the Sazabi, and the Gundam are the three most played I have. Uh, this one, the the Marasai. The Marasai. Is it Marasai or Marasai? Uh, this one I played a lot with as well. This one was fun. It's a matchlock unit with medium range uh, on its gun, and it has a uh, melee special ability. Where you effectively equip a laser bayonet. Uh, Shop-wise, you get the tickets from here. I don't know what the G3 Gundam is, or why it's legendary. Um, Tazrin Marasai. Marasai. Thank you. Uh, Tazrin, I don't know if you can explain this one. But yeah, the G3 Gundam, I have no idea what that one's from. I did get the Pale Rider skin, though, which was a uh, forest camo, and I rather like it. Oh, wait, was it Barbados? Barbados had one that was really fucking cool. Yeah, the black gold. Oh, oh I absolutely love that. Yes. Give me the fucking black gold for the Gundam Barbados. Oh. It's the third RX-78 unit. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so... Yellow lines are alright. I want the charge Zaku. Kokom good? Actually, yeah, let me... Let me turn on Kokom, because you will... It will probably be much easier for you to, like, 
into four and beyond shit, so go right ahead. Let me pull out this. Alright, there we go. I would rather have a Gundam knowledge. Yeah, there you go. Hello. Uh, this is going to be a shit show, and I'm going to love it. Okay, good. I'm not muted. <laughs> yep. Uh, on stream or in here? Because let me. Uh, I'm not muted on my headset. Okay, and you're not muted on stream either. OBS yeah, likes yeah, to be no, really no, no, finicky no, was, with that. I was just making sure that I was, that my headset wasn't muted because it it does have an integrated mic. Oh yeah. Uh, also, we need to figure out if who's gonna do the Halo Five or uh, Halo Five, Halo Three birthday stream with me because we have you, we have myself, Rin, Drake, Rugger, and you, and I'm pretty sure there's only four slots. Yeah, there's only four. Unless um, there's a I'm, mod that makes I'm it. Good to not play. Um, okay. But I can, I can always hop in if. Someone needs to hop out. Yeah, that was that was the other thing I was going to suggest was like you know half and half. Someone swaps in and out, or if someone has to go. Yeah. So whichever works, we'll get there when we get there. But yeah, the as far as I know, the G three is just the third RX seventy eight unit. Um. Uh. Yeah, because because I think it's it's Gundam three. So. Test streamer time. Uh, I'm going to let Tazrin do it because this is his field of expertise. And. Spaces for the space noids. Glory to the principality of Xeon. <laughs> what Tazrin said. <laughs> Fuck off. But yeah, um, Fuck off, Earthfed. Let, let me just confirm that, though. Okay. Because, yeah, I. I absolutely adore playing as the Zaku, because what you can do is, um, I, were you here for Goon's stream last night, even though he didn't actually play the fucking game? Uh, no, no, I didn't. I was not. I was... Yeah, he, he spent, what, like, four hours, like, three, basically the entire time I was playing this game, he was trying to troubleshoot and get the game to work. Uh, because... So, the, the yeah. G3, uh, was the test bed for the magnetic coding... That was later applied to the RX-78-2 used by Amuro Ray. Okay, so that's why so it's, it's got it's, the gray. It's the third... It's actually the the third RX-78. Okay. Um, so it's, it is technically the RX-78-3. Even though the... RX-78-2 was later upgraded to the RX-78-3 type. When it, is the Halo it, 3 birthday stream? It's all confusing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I roughly follow the Fate timeline, so I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Yeah, um, a good person to Hold on, one, watch um, on development history for mobile suits is uh, Kakarot197. Okay, you might actually have to link that to me, but because c- considering, like, a lot of the aspects for Void Mechs are going to be heavily, like, reliant on the more bipedal mech designs of, like, Gundam, uh, frickin' Gurren, uh, not Gurren Lagann, uh, Lelouch and all that, um, that one might be good to uh, have. Code Geass. Code Geass, yeah, thank you. Uh, that one might be good to I'm have just, just for, like, uh, information. DM me the channel. All right. Uh, when is the Halo 3 birthday stream? I mean, I'm here as a backup in case I need, someone needs to hop out. May 5th. Uh, we will be starting 10 o'clock a.m. roughly, and we'll be going till, uh, like 2 or 3 in the afternoon. About 5 hours of streaming, and then, um, Rin, Falcon, and Jiro and I, along with my family, are gonna meet up, hopefully, at a Korean barbecue place for dinner. And that will be my birthday, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh... I really like this game. I know Goon was real pissed that he couldn't play it, which is a damn shame, because this is actually pretty fun. Uh, it is locked to ranked only, unfortunately, which... Uh... Some, I think it was... I think it was Sydney who said it. Um, you either get a absolute stomp of a team... Or you get fucking wiped. 
<laughs> there is no in between. You will either win or the enemy will make you cry. Oh man. Uh, Anaheim Electronics. Zaku two. Yeah. We'll play all sides of the war. That way we make the most money. <laughs> but yeah, um, it goes on Overwatch logic, so you can only have one of each Gundam mech out. Well, I say Gundam. Robot or mech would just be more accurate, right? Cause there's, mobile suit. Yeah, mobile suit. Thank you. Um, yeah, yeah, they're, they're, yeah. They're, they're called mobile suits. So. Yeah, it runs on Overwatch logic, so you can only have one of each mobile suit type out at a time. Although I will note... I wonder if that was actually changed, because I remember you could actually have, like, a full-on team of Winstons. In Evolution, or in a different game? In Overwatch. Hmm. Oh! That was because there was modifiers that you could have. No, this was, like, an actual, like, thing. Yeah, I know. Not... And in custom games, you could set modifiers. No, this was not custom games. This oh, son of a bitch! Old. Well, that was a wonderful first match, then. Thanks, game! And you all- and Sydney was wrong, you also have three types of people. The ones who just okay. leave as soon as the match starts. Yup! <laughs> uh, yeah, the thing I was gonna say- I'd like to point out, in parentheses next to the Zaku 2, it says RANGED. Yeah, well, it is, the Zaku 2 would be a ranged unit, because... Does that, does that mean we're gonna get a melee Zaku 2? Because we have the uh, Barbados, uh, who is fully melee. It does not appear, you might actually get a melee version, which ha which utilizes the Heat Hawk. Hmm. Well, hold on. Because I happen to notice no Heat Hawk on the... Uh, uh about that. Zaku. The Heat Hawk slash is its ultimate. Uh, okay. Yeah, um, it, it's alright. <laughs> it oh. stuns the enemy. Um, whereas with the fucking, where is it? The Sazabi, uh, no, give me, give me down from the settings. Thank you. Um, you have a beam tomahawk that you can just yeet at people. Yeah. And, yeah. uh, you can then charge towards said tomahawk or friendly. And, of course, it has the funnels as the old Yeah, the funnels, the funnels have come in clutch on some matches. Like, I've managed to hold, almost hold, single-handedly hold down points with the funnels. <laughs> uh, the shotgun, though, I'm a little iffy on that one. The shield is nice, though. I do like being able to fucking shield up while so, aiming. So, the Sazabi's rifle is actually interesting because it's actually a beam rifle as well as a shotgun. Yeah, the the interpretation they did with this one was beam shot rifle. Yeah. So close shot range scatter shot a close range scatter shot weapon effective diminishes diminishes at long ranger longer ranges and hold your shield in front of you while using your primary weapon absorbs a set amount of damage. Yeah. I requested access, but, but I doubt they're gonna let me into the closed play test Silameo because I want to zock you too so bad. Like I said, and Cindy caught up on this, the best way to play a Zaku is to rush in, get as close to low health as possible, pop your smoke grenade, which makes you invisible, and use all three dashes to back the fuck up. <laughs> Basically being a cheeky bitch. Yes, and this has worked. <laughs> oh, this is a new map. At least I think it is. Oh, so, um... Some Gundam news. Oh boy. Gundam Battle Operations 2. Oh, it was, it was brought to, to Steam. Steam. Yeah, I saw it, that. It, it's coming to Steam. However, no cross-save, no cross-play. Ooh. Ooh. Most likely because Sony doesn't like to play ball with PC users. Yep. So be a cheeky, breaky Zaku bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yup. And yeah. it works. I don't know how effective I'm going to be playing on stream... Because before it was just me playing and, like, swearing quietly under my breath. But yeah, so this one is basically the plant a bomb phase, where you can actually capture a waypoint. 
Uh, should I play through the tutorial after this in case someone watches this and wants to know how to play? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, full admittance, I only noticed the scale of the maps after my eighth match. Because then I got to see how big I am compared to the vehicles. Well, you are in Zaku too. You are 18 meters tall. I know, but my mind didn't register that I was a fucking Zaku. Or any of the other mechs. I, like, I was in the mindset of a, oh, this is a really, you know, this is a rather enclosed space. No, it's fucking massive! When you yeah. compare it to the fact that it reaches that high and I'm, what is it, 18 feet or 18 meters? Oh, meters. Meters. The, the Sazabi is actually probably the uh, tallest unit. Oh, also another thing, the Zaku cannot aim down sights. So you really gotta be close. Fuck off, Barbados. Also, hello, Ethan. I hope you are well. Welcome to I Fuck Around With Mechs. Yeah, I think the Sazabi is... Oh, also, I have a grenade. Oh, crap, I can't remember. Um... Uh-oh, there's another Sazabi! I think it's 24 meters tall. I will not be able to, uh, more than likely, Tazarin's gonna have to read chat for me because I am going to be distracted. Oh, it's, it's 25.6 meters tall, so yeah. Uh-oh! Hi, Barbados! Yeah, yeah, Drake, that's, that actually might be because Yu-Gi-Oh! might have their own servers, or it's, or it's just simply peer-to-peer. Which would allow for crossplay and crossplay. Oh shit! That's a that's the whole enemy team. I, I haven't really looked at it. Um, just, I don't play it. just came to say hi before I keep eating my muffin. All right. Well, stick around if you want some entertainment and enjoy your muffin. Um, the Gundam also has like the the proper mobile suit Gundam. Uh, also has a massive napalm grenade. Yeah, yeah, the super napalm. It fucking sucks, and I hate it so much. Yeah, yeah, it's... it's that's Ow! And um, that right there was the GM sniper, too. If it hits you in the head, that is an instant KO for most mech, for most mobile suits. If it gets you in the head. It is... Impressive. You know, I kind of wish that if you were playing like not of that. War suit, oh shit! Um, shit! Get out! Uh, Get out of dodge! Your camera would look. Oh, the HUD would like match the Zaku or the Mechie the Ian. Yeah. Uh I can understand why they would and would not do that. Yeah, because especially with like the Sazabi with the panoramic cockpit. Uh, ah, shit! I waste. I think I wasted my axe. Oh well. Uh, uh oh. We actually have a a larger. Hey! Fuck. Um, they would ha actually have a more of a view because you know you don't you have a screen. Is there a heavy weapons guy in mech form? Uh... Uh... Maybe? Maybe the Sazabi? Like, the gun tank, if you mean, like, mini machine gun, yes, the gun tank. Because yeah, that's in here. Hi! Uh-oh, he fully healed. Run away! Fuck off, orphans! Not orphans, human debris. I see no difference. <laughs> oh, Matt, I would be real happy if they add the fucking Leo to this. <laughs> Can you imagine how the cancer would work? Just oh, God. a fucking rocket pod? Or the Ares? Uh oh, shit, that's a, the, that's the a GM cancer sniper. The really wouldn't work because of, well, underwater. 
but the Aries I could see, but then again, a Leo with a flight path is superior to the Aries. Yeah. Basically... Which is absolutely hilarious. What else would be on... Uh, shit, what were the names of the main one? Fuck, those are funnels! Uh, there would be the... Ow! Oh, I'm not. Son of a... You saw that, right? I got shot through the wall from a funnel. Uh, I currently have uh, heavy nostalgia tinted uh, glasses on. Drake, I didn't think you liked Gundam. Whoa! Fuck you, Pale Rider. But yeah, like, like when Zex Marquise was given was ordered to uh, hunt I the, the Wing Gundam. He chose a, a Leo with a flight pack opposed to a uh, Ares, and he's like, "Yeah, the, the Leo's better." And that—that's—that's that's really saying something when your dedicated flight mobile suit is actually worse than a ground suit with a flight pack. Shit, they're gonna get it! Damn it! Three seconds! Come on! Yes! We got we got objective by No Lego Star Wars. Ah, okay. But yeah, uh what was the name of the main enemy suit from uh Iron Blooded Orphans? I haven't uh, watched those in a while. Like the main mook suit? Yeah, the main mook suit. The Greys. The Gre Gregs or Greys? Greys, as in you grazed me. Oh! G R A Z E. Yeah. I thought you meant grazed like Romeo little Alpha gray men from Zulu. space. Or no. Golf Romeo Alpha Zulu Echo. Ay! Ow! Who's this fucker with the sword? Uh oh. Run away! That's the Exia. It has shurikens. Uh, no. No, it's got kunai. Oh. Fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the Exia. The Exia uh, has, has seven swords. Let's see what else we got. We have the Meth Met Methus. Yeah, the Methus. The Esimir. Turn a Gundam, Mathemir. Gun Tank, Gundam Exia, and the Marasai. The Marasai. 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 The Marasai is a Titan unit. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Um, Remember, I have not gotten further than uh, the first mobile suit Gundam. Hey kids, do you like war crimes? <laughs> I mean, Revan might, but it depends on his mood. The, the Titans were enemies in Zeta. Um, hey, fuck off, GM sniper! Ow. Basically, think of the Titans as uh. Are you trying to think of a way you can explain them without breaking stream rules? Yes, and that's very hard. Uh-oh. The, the bad... The bad section of the German political military. In oh. Germany. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's... By, uh, by any chance, were they distinctly adverse to new types? They employed cyber new types. Oh. Um... The oh. Titans also made the Psycho Gundam. I feel like I've heard that term before. Uh, the Psycho Gundam was basically a 40 foot, a uh, 40 meter tall transformable mobile armor that they use that the Titans used to basically raise cities. Ah. Yeah. So, hey kids, do you like war crimes? <laughs> you thought. You thought dropping a colony was bad. Oh, oh, Who's sweet summer Titans? child. You well, ain't son you ain't worse. seen nothing yet. Yeah, the the Titans were worse. Obviously I know what a Dom is. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, those guys are fast and rockets. And that doesn't really jive well with my playstyle. Which you'd think it would, considering my playstyle is run the fuck in, smoke up, kill everything, run the fuck away. Well, you also have to understand the 
the Dom hovers. It moves considerably faster than I do. Yeah, yeah, because it's it's right. It utilizes a, uh, I think, a thermonuclear hover system. <laughs> Damn it, Drake! I I fucking knew you were gonna make that joke. Ah. <sighs> All right, we have the briefing phase. I'm pretty sure this is basically a guaranteed win. We have two to the enemy's one, so unless they also win, uh, after their phase, uh, the match will be over. So it the Dom uses thermonuclear jet engines to hover. Oh, they're GM sniper too. Then again, thermonuclear Ow. in this sense is just fusion. Uh, the other thing the GM Sniper 2 has is a pickup beam. I, I don't. It, it's um, it re-enables a uh, mech after it's been uh, disabled. Ah, that's an oh a oh a fixing beam. Pretty, much, it's basically just a revive button. Yeah, you no, know, I I actually like how as you're moving you can actually Ow fuck Barbados Sorry, continue. I, I, I actually like how you can actually see the spike on the shoulder. Oh for the Zaku? Around. Yeah. Yep. I mean it's only when I'm not sprinting, but yeah you can see it. Yeah I mean you can even actually you can even see it. Well, Part of me is curious, if I back the FOV up, would I be able to see more of my arm? I don't know. Gotcha! But yeah, so you can down enemies and then you have to destroy them! What the fuck is that? What the fuck was that Barbados doing? He didn't even try to kill me. <laughs> oh, that's the... Ow! Oh, that's the gym. No, that was an A turn. Oh, a turn A. Yeah. Or turn A. But yeah, I... I, I, told, the, I told this to Drake last night. I am quite enjoying the fact that games have come out that I have actually enjoyed playing. Uh-huh. It's a nice change. Yeah. yeah, it really is a nice change. Like, I do. I, the only complaint I do have is the fact that um, other shooter games have taught me to melee when in close combat. That is not part of your skill set in this game. If you want to melee, you had better hope that the mobile suit you've chosen can melee. Yeah. Hey! Because otherwise, good fucking luck. Ow! Oh, hey, a dom. Thank you. So here's a, here's a question for you. Where's the Pale Rider from? Because that's not one I recognize. Uh, the Pale Rider, I believe, was from the manga. Or 0080. Oh, son of a... Oh, so it was from. It was featured in Got him. the Mobile Suit Gundam Side Story Missing Link video game and manga. Ah, okay. So, not anything I would know. I know Goon. When he was doing the Gundam games. Mm. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's one of the games yeah. I first came in on to, into his channel on. Uh, he actually. Uh, I think. Did that one, or did the blue, or had the blue destiny? I remember the blue no, destiny. It was the blue destiny. It was the blue destiny, not the pale rider. Uh, actually, my. Oh know. shit! No, I wasted my charge. Damn it! Ah, pain! I wasted my axe charge again. Oof. Oh fuck off! Did I get one? No, I don't think I did. Uh, I have found that the Gundam's napalm grenade 
is really good at clearing rooms just like this. However, if you die before the grenade leaves your hands, uh, the, the napalm goes away. Yeah. I, mean, I have... I have, uh... angered myself on a few occasions with that. Uh-oh. Smoke shield up. I might give another one of the mechs a try. Just to show it off. Yeah, none of that. Ow! Yeah! We did it! Hell yeah! That one was actually, like, one of the the balanced ones. They fought pretty well. Unfortunately, they got fucking clobbered. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, which mech should we do next? I admittedly haven't played much with the gun tank, and apparently it has auto-aim. Oh, God. But you can't use the main cannons. They're a special ability. Oh, it's... let me guess, it's the ultimate? Uh, no, it's, um, it's not the ultimate. The ultimate is you deploy the, uh, core fighter and explode. Oh. Oh, great. <laughs> that is your ultimate. <laughs> Wait, so the the ultimate is, is you deploy the core fighter and the gun tank explodes, or the core fighter? The core fighter kamikaze attacks. <laughs> oh, yeah, because the gun yep. tank, I believe the command is, yeah, the, the cockpit's in the head. Yep. Unit explanation. BOP missile. Automatically targets multiple enemies within range, dealing equal damage to all of them. Focus all fire on a single target, increasing target acquisition range and dealing greater damage. Launch Core Fighter. Launch a fast-moving flying unit that you can control. Detonate the Core Fighter to damage all units in a small area. Cannon. Launch a slow-moving mid-range projectile to damage all units in a medium area. Rush. You charge forward. High-speed recovery. Revive a disabled ally much faster than normal. And it has yellow accents as a skin. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know what the green one's for. I'm assuming it's for if you get duplicates. Uh, the what? The green... The little green... Hold on, let me go to the customization. It's like on the unlocks. That looks like a currency. Value. Yeah, it is. Also, I didn't show this. This is the skin for the Exia. And I am so heavily reminded of, uh, was it the nanofiber skins from Overwatch? Because they're all green yeah. and black. What is what do the gray accents look like with the Exia? Exactly what you do think. Oh, it's just uh, the the oh, game out back. colors. Not... Yep. Yeah, it's. Oh, the... that's interesting that that the Exia doesn't have all the seven sword the the full seven sword equipment. It's just got the two beam sabers and the two beam. Right, let's try and uh, grab It's not letting me sortie. Well, it... okay, that was weird. I guess my keyboard got pressed. It wouldn't let me sortie. Hmm. Nope, start area. I don't know. Exactly what I think so. <laughs> no? No, bad. Down boy. Uh, At least it's cooling. So, so kick. Yep. Um, uh, a little while ago, it was ninety-seven degrees where I where I live. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's now currently ninety-five. I mean, it's two degrees cooler, but it should not be ninety at all in spring. Oh yeah. Also, you can hover. But it uses up the chart boost for all of them. I am curious if they're going to add more at launch, or if this is basically just the stock lineup for right now. Well, so where I live, tomorrow it's going to be 77 degrees. Oof. Finally remember the Gundam game I was trying to describe to you. It was Zionic Front. It was Zionic Front, because of course it was. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, yes. The glorious Zeonic front where you oh, play as, as, as a Zeon. Uh. I think the Fenrir team? Or Fenrir team? Wasn't there a new Gundam team where you played as either Mercs or just like Salvage Unit? I don't know. Shit. Hi! Hello, Mr. Dom. Please do not resist. Ow. Oh, yeah. You can actually play, like, the bog standard mook suits pretty well. You just have to be fast. Yeah. Which I really like. You know, I actually wonder if the Ashamar and the Methus can actually turn to one. Yes, they well, can. Uh, let me... Actually, I think I can show that off real quick. Um, okay, so neither of them are claimed, so let's do the Methus. Uh, so... Whoop! And you get three seconds of flight time. Oh, damn. With a five-minute cooldown. With a five-second cooldown. Hi there, Mr. Dom! I'm just gonna get the fuck out of your way. Also, the <laughs> Methus can deploy a turret. Uh. What's the Meth Methus from? Uh, the Methus? I really need to stop pressing A. I think the, I want to say the Methus was... Yeah. Shit. Yeah, yeah. The the Methus was from Zeta. Ow. And then. And the Astromar was also from Zeta because that was a. Um... The Astromar has a pulse laser. Laser. Uh, because the Astromar was a Titan suit. Ow. Uh, yeah. Both of them can also shoot well, f well in flight mode. Yeah, because they're they're transformable mobile suits. Yeah, they they. I haven't yeah. really played with these two as much. It does have a napalm grenade, which, having been described what the titans are, suddenly makes a lot more sense. Ow. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna switch. Uh, actually. Gun tank or turn A? Or do I go to the pink GM? <laughs> pink GM. Oh my god. I'm an what idol now! Idol? What the fuck? Yeah, this is one of the skins I unlocked. Oh my god, the gym just looks so ridiculous. Ah! Fucker! Uh, also, while the... Um... The RX Gundam does have a shield. Uh, the GM is the only one that can shoot while using the shield. Huh. I, I like how they have the beam spray gun. And the mobile suit's actually pretty good at medium to long range. Well, I think... I think also, if I remember correctly, Ow. the the RX seventy two really needed to use both hands to actually fire the beam rifle. That's probably why. I think. Though I do remember. Yeah, some this is one of those. This is one of those matches where you get stomped by the enemy team. The GM is just expressing their inner self. The GM is a bog standard mook suit. It, it really is. It, it is. It is literally just a mass producible suit based off the Gundam. Yeah. Because they didn't want to make more Gundams, but they also didn't want to lose to Zaku's. Yeah. So they made it. They made a cheap Gundam, and uh, yeah, yeah, didn't really go very well. I do like the turn A's charge beam. Yeah, 
I think I want to say that no, who did who just was it Sid Meier that did that? Sid Meier? What? Yeah, this is probably going to be a loss. Because basically all they have to do is capture 25% and then they win. Oh, Sid Mead. Oh, Sid um, Mead. Okay. Uh, Sid Mead actually Sid designed Mead. the turn A Gundam. I thought no, you said Sid. Sidney, and I'm like, wait, no, what? No, no, no. Sid, uh, Sierra, Yankee, Delta, and then Mead as in the alcoholic honey <laughs> wine. Beam Rifle. A rapid-fire mid-range machine gun with heavy recoil and accuracy loss. Steady your weapon to dramatically increase accuracy and remove all accuracy loss. Reduces your movement and speed during use. Super Napalm. Throw a Super Napalm grenade. Explodes after a cooldown. Countdown. Dealing heavy damage over time to all units in a large area. Hyper Hammer. Throw a Hyper Hammer. Inflicts damage, stun, and knockback. And guard break when it hits an enemy. Strike the wall or ground near an enemy to inflict minor area damage and knockback. And then the Gundam Shield. Take cover behind a shield, which lasts for a set duration or until it absorbs maximum damage. Ends early if you use attack or thrusters, but allows dashing and hovering. Hmm. Everyone else trying to be badass, Pink GM. You're just jealous because I'm beautiful. <laughs> oh, the Zaku isn't jealous. The Zaku is very grateful you have made yourself a prime target. Imagine if they added fucking ball turrets, or whatever the ball pods. Oh, the ball, the yeah, ball, the ball. It's just called the ball. It or is literally ball. a ball with two arms and a cannon attached to the top. Yep. Like you think the GM was lazy? Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet, sunshine. Yeah, and and funny thing. Hi there. The ball is li is literally a uh, armed and up armor. Ow. Work I'm gonna take my leave now, D&D time. Have fun, I'm gonna keep blowing shit up with mechs. Yeah, the RB-79 hey! ball, it's literally a work pod. Like, uh, I know the Zakus were originally mining suits, but, uh... Yeah, one side was very clearly intense, more intense on, uh... Warfare than the other. Can you guess who? Oh, that's interesting. We Tom ago. Uh, when you actually aim and steady the beam rifle, the um, hey, you pull out the little handle and the uh, range finder actually slides over. Yeah, I know. Again, I know Goon was real pissed that his copy wouldn't work after multiple reinstalls and messing with the files, which probably didn't help. Um, but for a beta, this is pretty solid, I gotta say. It feels smooth, the combat's fun, there's plenty of variety with, you know, how you can play. The graphics are really good. Might you need a bit of optimizing on some of the load stuff, but... Hey, ow. Funny because my name and chat on my end is pink. You're green on my end. Wait. Uh, Revenus, Revenus pink on my end. Is that Horo? Is that what the heel buttons are? That is a Horo, yeah. Horo, yeah. I was trying to figure out what the fuck that was. Horo is a fox goddess of the harvest. Interesting. Yeah, that is a that is in fact a horror. Yep, they heal you to either full or a decent chunk. I was wondering what the hell that was because I couldn't see it that clearly, and I thought it was just like goop. Or they ju or they actually overheal you. Uh, no, I got hit with the buff. If it had healed me, um, it would have disappeared. Oh, I wonder if the Dom's ultimate is the, uh... 
uh, Tristar attack. Um, I think we can check on. Because there were three doms in that MVP. Probably uh, because it was the same dom. Screaming Nimbus charge forward for a short time, deflecting attacks from the front of the from the front for the duration. Grants temporary bonus HP and increased movement to speed to allies. Deals damage, knockback, and guard break to enemies. Yeah, that that is what the uh, yeah the screaming Nimbus uh, deflecting attacks. Yeah, that because they would be utilizing the uh, beam gun on the uh, chest unit. Yep. Giga Launcher DR1 Multiplex Beam. Fires a continuous beam for a short time that damages enemies, prevents projectile shots for the duration. Uh, the health boost I, boost I got was the armor gun. Ah. Uh, yeah, if you actually look at the DOM itself, um, there's that little round thing on the uh, bottom left mm -hmm. of the chest plate. Yeah, I see. So that's it. actually a scattering beam gun. Hmm. Yeah, there's the red accent skin. Which doesn't look that bad. No. Again, I want this. <laughs> because it's it's fucking char. Yeah, yeah, it's it's char. You basically have to play um about four hours worth each day to get it for the duration of the beta test. Gilgu 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 char as noble. Can you imagine if they added the fucking Gilgoog? Oh god. I also don't mind- I don't mind the red accents on the Gundam for that skin. Well, funny thing is, that would actually have been the col- I believe the color scheme used if char actually ha had a Gundam. Hmm. And yeah, supply supply pod tickets are your uh, loot box. That's how you get here. And there are weapon skins, which I have not bothered to look at. Who do we play next? I don't, did I play much of this Asabi, or did I try to and then swap to something else? The desert camo looks real fucking weird, though. Yeah, it that is, that definitely does. That does not feel like desert camo to me. No. That feels like maybe Scrublands, or... Yeah. I mean, it, it kind of more looks like a transitional, like, savanna desert. Yeah, but... But that is... That is, that is not desert. Really you really don't see green in desert. Mm-hmm. So, so more more likely out. more likely savanna or something like that. Yeah. What do the white lines look like? Uh, it gets little white lines on its uh, shoulder pauldrons and arms, and just below the kneecap. Oh, that's that's not actually that bad. Yeah, it's all right. I like it. The mint snow for the methus, though. I am for perfectly what? fine with that. You'll see in a moment. Okay. And pink accents, how cute. Yup. Your guns turn pink. <laughs> Specifically hot pink. Oh man, that is that is funny. Uh the GM sniper gets a nice olive drab on his torso. The Ashamar yeah. just gets white accents on its chest. Mm. The Dom gets the red. Oh, right. The turn A gets a fucking nano skin armor. Uh, well, yeah, because the turn A also is nano machine, son. And then green accents. Which make it look kind of sick. Oh, so you want to know something funny about the turn A? Shoot. You see that that yellow uh, gold cod piece. thing on the on the cod piece? Yeah, that's the cockpit. <laughs> <coughs> uh, excuse me. I guess they that's took that literally. literally. A cockpit. <laughs> yep. 
I guess they decided to take that interpretation literally. <laughs> okay then. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's that's where the, the uh, that's where the cockpit is. The gun tank turns and, into a school bus. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they're it's pretty much unarmored too, because it's it's you can actually see directly into the cockpit. Yes. <laughs> Here's the pink GM again. <laughs> <laughs> and turbulence for the Gundam Exia, and gray accents, and then just blue lines for the Marasai. Marasai. Yeah. I think that's everything. I kind of wish... Oh, I'm guessing the Exia Super is... Uh... Uh, uh, let me see here. God, what's it? Trans Am. Yeah, Trans Am. I, I, my brain just was like. Bleh. Let's see here. Beam Dagger throws a GN Beam Dagger effective up to medium range. Beam Saber cut forward through the enemies, damaging any targets in your path. Only available in Trans Am mode. So I'm looking at the screen and. It looks like there's enough space for at least another ha row and a half or so. Yeah. So let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's enough spaces in this UI for 11 per row. And it looks like there's enough for another, like, two rows. So about 19? 19 or 18 more could fit on this roster. I am worried about the supply pod, though, because I know for a fact they're going to make that a... Oh, hey, you know... Either that or the battle pass... The season pass is going to be a paid thing. Absolutely. Yeah. I actually like how they, uh... For the... The... Oh, right. Um, one of the emotes you can get is Rumble Roll saying GG. Rumble Roll. Um, ain't no Zaku boy. No Zaku. <laughs> yeah, what were you saying? You like the how they did what? Uh, for like when you looked at the uh, G three Gundam. Uh, I actually happened to see odds. Yep. Oh, uh, like percentage odds, and I like that because yep. you see an exact amount of how likely you are to get something. Yeah. Which. It's amusing because apparently the G3 is the most likely skin to get, if I'm rating this right. Yeah, 3% of the, the epics are actually... Though, it's that's probably boosted. Yeah, I, um, I imagine that's heavily boosted. Yeah. Just because it's the beta test and, you know, they want people to be able to get the rewards for playing. Not only that, but... Um, like some some banners in gacha games will have increased chances for a ship to drop or for a uh, unit to drop character to drop but they'll and also we'll have, fill up how yeah. much, what's available to counteract that yeah so they'll they'll make it more likely to drop but they'll bloat the pool a little so that uh, not really they'll oh that is so fucking cute what? You'll see on screen in a moment. Oh, the Gundam charm? Yeah, you can... Looks... Uh, yeah, it's an SD Gundam. Uh, I think they had one for the GM, too, which is the 19th reward. Hmm. You can get a Pixel Ashamir. Or Ashamar. Yeah. Oh, right! The mechs can emote. <laughs> uh... I love how the greeting for the uh, Gundam is just, and the gym is just a salute. The Zaku also salutes. Everybody salutes. Except for the gun tank. No, no, the turn A just waves. The, the, the Exia just kind of threatens you. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, player icons. 
You can be the Amaro! Why would you ever want this? Uh. Get in the Gundam, Amaro. Alright, let's keep well, playing. Well, you know, if... Maybe they also have Char. Mm, ah, I think they do, actually. Hold on. Oh, there's August. Oh, they don't. Yeah, interesting. August. Yeah, oh, August. Yeah, that's... Huh. Iron Blood Orphans. Yeah. The only Gundam I'm aware... No, wait. There's... There's another Gundam anime that has Cassandra Lee voice a character. Which and one? It's Goon's favorite. Heavy sarcasm. I'm drawing a blank. It's Seed. Ah. I think she voices the, like, mechanical bird. I would have to check, but I know she voices a character there. Whereas in um, Iron Blood Orphans, uh, she is the love interest. Uh, well, I say love interest. She has a crush on uh, Shirtless here. And also cooks. I forget the character's name, but she is like fluffy blonde hair. Oh, uh, Atra. Yeah. That's who she voices in the dub. I kind of want to look up what, who she voices in Seed, but I also don't because uh, there are timeout punishments in this game if you time out, as I discovered last night, and that was not fun. It's like a five-minute cooldown punishment. Ah, oh. Muriel's Hall. Uh. He is, I think. Uh oh. Continue. Yeah, she she's also a fluffy haired character. I'm sensing a pattern. I'm not going to complain about the pattern, but I'm sensing one. I think she was the communications uh, girl on the Archangel. Which, amazingly enough, was also her role in. Um, Near Automa Automata. She was the communication officer that you spoke with. Yep. Yeah, funny thing. Miralia was assigned to monitor and communicate with the Archangel's mobile suit and mobile armor com complement. So, she was the communications person. <laughs> Did she go on any speeches? No. So, she's least likely to piss off Goon. <laughs> Although I don't think Goon cares, he hates them all. <laughs> Come here, buddy! Aw. Oh. Well, Ow. she does try and kill Diarca. And kinda goes a bit crazy. She played a Yandere demon in uh, Yu Gi Oh! GX. I think she's good. Oh, yeah, Yuvel. Oh, yep. God. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You know, one of the art ideas, even though Drake isn't here, uh, he once suggested was Leafa in, like, Yubel's costume. And I'm like, ah! Yandere Leafa demon! Ha! Huh. I'm, uh. I'm scaroused! Yeah, I'm pretty regularly amazed at the ranges that. Uh, Cassandra Lee can play. Like, she did, d despite how many people complain about um, the Fade Extra anime, she did a really damn good Nero. I think she captured the spotlight attention. Oh right, Nero is the Umu. Yes. I think she did a really good job at capturing Nero's uh, eccentricities. Come on, Exia, time to go to sleep. I told you, you're going to sleep. So, interesting thing about the... Uh-oh! Uh, 
the turn A. Mm-hmm. Uh, it basically stores all of its weapons in, in hammer space. Yeah, I noticed, because it keeps tossing its gun to the side and picking up a new one. Yeah. Yeah, it's, its body is uh, hollow and kind of extra-dimensional. Because it's also powered by a black fucking hole. What the fuck was Tamino on when he was writing some of these designs? Or is this from someone Don't else? Ask. Don't ask. Because if you ask questions, uh, you the 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 men with the come here. bags come. All oh, right, the turn A can fucking like overhand throw someone. <laughs> but yeah, it's the. <laughs> The turn A is pretty much powered by an artificial black hole. Ow! And uses eye shields to move its body and provide thrust. Eye shields. You know, a defensive countermeasure for ships and. Certain mobile armors and mobile suits? I did not, but noted. Uh-oh. Well, the Zaku's dead. Well, that was... a bit of... Oh, yeah, so... There. The enemy spawn is right across from us. Oh, shit. Uh. Fuck you. I can fly! Oh. Moonlight Butterfly Nano Machine. Done. Yeah, that one is also a good uh, crowd clear clearer. Yeah, because basically what it does oh, is oh, oh, it, uh, deconstructs things. I thought it was a healing move at first. No. Oh. No. No, it is not. Oh shit, Barbados! Come here! It can, it can disintegrate matter. Get fucked. Just what the fuck was that? Uh, you get stunned when I grab you. That was... That was hilarious. What's that? Do you have a sword? I have hands. <laughs> Come here. Damn it. Yeah. These, uh... These enemies are about to catch some hands. Literally. Ow! Shit, I think you got revenge on me. Nope, it was- yeah, no, it was the- Damn it! Fight, Barbados! Fight! Now. I'm trying to remember what- uh, if there are any other roles that Cassandra Lee played in Gundam. I think it was just those two. Ow! Also, the first role I could ever find um, for her in Yu-Gi-Oh, because Drake and I were curious, she played a, like, haunted doll for, like, a one-off episode. And was then brought back later to voice u -Bell. In uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. It's fucking wild. Alright, let's see what else I can play. Here. Uh, let's do more, more of the Marasai. Marasai. You're right, Tazarin. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out something. So it must have been redubbed. Oh, did. For C, because ah. I'm looking at, at Cassandra Lee Morris's anime things, mm -hmm. uh, like the her her like, IMDb basically. Yeah, but on Wikipedia. Okay. Um and yeah, that makes sense. And Iron Blooded Orphans be voiced Atra in 2016. 
Oh, yeah, I was a redub. Yeah, I was a redub. Because in 2017, she voices Mirialia Hall. The princess? Uh, huh? I'm trying to remember who that is. Uh, that's the communications officer on the on the Archangel. Okay, now I'm confused. I'll, I'll send you a picture. Okay, because you said Iron Blood Orphans, and I'm trying to remember where the Archangel's from. Uh, C. Okay, so then how are those two connected <laughs> as a redub? No, no. C got a redub. Oh, okay. Yeah, apparently C got a redub in 2017. Got him! Oh, shit. Haha! <laughs> so, Seed got a redub and she. her role changed? Uh, no, no, she redubbed over Mirialia's lines. Ah! I think. I, so, I'm not entirely sure, it's very confusing to me. So, she voiced two characters then in the show? Uh oh. Uh. No, just Mirialia Hall. Okay. And Atra in, uh, IBO. Okay. I think I understand. <laughs> it's, it's very confusing. I'm, I'm confused and my brain hurts and it's still Wonder 94 degrees. Wonder why they redubbed Seed then. I have no idea. It was like yeah, a... Steve was like 2005 for its original dub. Was it one of the other like follow-up series that just got kind of roped into it? Honestly, I have no idea. Ow. I need. I might need to go back and see what else she did. The most recent one I remember, Beyond SAO, um, that she did was a Netflix, like, three-episode project where she was the voice of an AI who was trying to complete their mission of saving humanity. Uh, effectively, it's thousands of years in the future. The Earth was absolutely fucked. Uh, they initiated the WALL-E project, where, like, humans go into cryostasis, robots take over, etc. Uh... And the creator of the robots, uh, his daughter died due to a disease they didn't have a cure for yet, and the robots were supposed to research one. And his wife has a medical condition, so she can't get in any of the research pods. Or, she like, they were reserved in advance or something, and she couldn't get one. Uh, so, what? his wife, what his, his wife, his pet, the pet dog, because the dog was shot by raiders... And his daughter are all dead, and he goes a little bit loopy. He wakes up earlier than expected, converts his mind into a robotic body, and decides, no, I'm not going to wake up humanity. We're not worth it. He robots can take over the world now. What? Who are you talking about for voice actors? Uh, Cassandra Lee voiced the AI that the guy created to wake up humanity and help re-establish the species. It should be one of the most recent ones. Oh, Eden. Yeah. Like I said, she could do a lot of pretty good, like, she has really good vocal range, which apparently also includes monotone AI. Yeah, it was like a, it was a short, like, three episode thing. Three or four parts. I don't know if it was like... Uh, four, episodes. four episodes, yeah. I don't know if it was like, just an original thing, or if there was some source behind it, but it was, it was actually pretty fun to watch. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it looks like it was just an original thing, and it, and it was a Netflix exclusive. Yep. 
and beyond that, I'm not sure what other role she was she was in. Uh, Asterisk War, which is the song that was playing for the pre-show, had her <laughs> as yeah, like Ernesto. yeah, she was fun. <laughs> A like an eccentric, sci eccentric scientist who's making robots to fight uh, humans, <laughs> and really just kind of wants to have fun. Oh, that was yeah. great! I ain't to a interesting obsession with the main male character. Yeah, I did. I haven't watched it in a couple of years because I then also found Chivalry of a Failed Knight and that whole thing. Fucking Asahi, fucker. Huh. Piss off! Ow. And then obviously she played Sugu and Leafa in pretty much every appearance. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? Ow. Did you get sweat in there or something? No, it's just I have a... something on the outside corner and it's... Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's, that's a fuck no. And it's also fucking hey. hot as shit. Ow. Let me so, check how hot it is on my phone for where I... Ugh, excuse me, where I am. Nope, that is... That is photos. 93 degrees, heat advisory warning. Yeah. Do you have air conditioning? Uh, yes. My computer is very hot, though. So that kind of negates it. Yeah, I don't have air conditioning, and what's also really shitty is my bedroom, which I'm currently in, faces the sun. As is mine, because I'm at the front of the house. Yeah, I'm at the back of the, back of the, basically, apartment unit, but it faces the sun all day. Yeah, same. <laughs> Perks so, of going to work. Uh, work has free water and air conditioning. <laughs> Unfortunately, gonna, I sweat from physical exertion, so that also negates I'm that. I'm gonna be right back because I need I need more more hydration. Yeah, do that. I'm going to probably die to <laughs> the fucking exo exercise. Piss off! Uh, how's everyone else doing while well, Tazer and I have been on our discussions? Although I think it's just Tazer and you, Revan. Oh, I hit all those shots. I think we're probably gonna lose this battle. It was a very close one, though. Bap. Boop. Beep. Bada bop. Oh, that guy was down. Ow. Yay. <laughs> right, back to the front of the map. And I have an A-palm grenade, so... That actually works out really well. Have fun with Napalm! Ah, they all dodged. Shit. What stunned me? I have no idea what killed me there. Let's forget the overtime. Which I highly doubt we're gonna get. Nope. Yep. 
Saw that coming. Damn Earthnoids. I just noticed that there's actually symbols for Earthnoid and Spacenoid on either side. And I've been playing this for how many hours now? <laughs> Hey, I'm level 5, which means I got the Gundam with the red accents. Nice. Yeah, and it's 500 per, so... Whenever the dailies swing through again, I'll have another level and a half. So, about 2, two hours and 30 minutes. So basically, in order to get the Char Suzaku skin, I either have to play for, like, an entire day, or make sure I get at least 4 levels every day. Four or six. And that's not even accounting for the uh, extra levels you can do, which give you more supply pod tickets. So. We'll see. I do you want the GM charm, though? <laughs> the GM and the gun charm, I would like, as well as the Zaku. There's there's a lot of customization that I really want in this game. What's this one? Um, only ranked match mode is available in ranked matches. The rate fluctuates according to wins and losses. Players with similar rate values are more likely to match it. Ah, okay. Uh, oh, fuck, I'm sleepy. Which really sucks because I have a lot of work to do. So, I think we'll do, uh, I'll figure out something. Be back. Let's see. Um, I might as well try the Dom. We'll try it again. <sighs> I think we'll go for another half hour and then I'm gonna need to actually get started in the work that I have. So we have tactile launcher and the mines. I go fast. All hands to battle stations. Hostiles incoming. Understood. Protect the target. All right, I remember what uh ready to intercept. I remember what the original point of me discussing Cassandra Lee was. I was kind of disappointed that she wasn't a pilot voice option for this. Cuz that would have been fucking awesome. And I can guarantee you, I would have enjoyed playing the mech game much more if that were true. Was that Seno Dao? Seno Dao? Here, have an armor gun. Apparently. Holy shit. Okay, I might need to play with the Dom some more, because that is some pretty good damage. Ah, shit. Ah, 
Gotcha. Oh. Uh oh. No, Rimuru. Whatever you do, don't go into the light. Woo! Wasn't expecting that there. I hit one of those shots, you all saw. Don't dodge the rockets! I have them, take them! He fucking tried. <laughs> he tried to hit me with a hammer. Uh oh. Someone's where they shouldn't be. I need to armor up people more. Like, a lot more. Ow. Yeah, I finally got hit. Ah, oh, shit, I need to do a replay. So I, there's a lot of games ugh, that I just need to keep playing and, like, participate in, but they're all very time consuming games. Which is deeply unfortunate for me. Is that Tanjiro's voice? I think so. Same from all the games. Yeah. Oh shit, they're up here. Uh oh Shit. Mm. Alright, also... I only realized this a while ago. I'm playing on the Asian servers. Because I forgot to swap them over. Uh, so I'm just committed now. So I'm pretty sure if I swap, I don't know if I'm if I swap to the English servers if that'll like start a new thing or what. Come on, keep shooting me. Mister Zaku, oh, okay. Authenticity, yes. Well, it only occurred to me to check after the fact. But yes, I am playing the mecha game with Japanese and Asian people. Yay. Hello. The true Gundam experience. The only truer one is if, uh, I was playing Gundam Wing with Canadians. Have a mind. And surprisingly, we don't have any. Uh, bubble suits from Gundam Wing, now that I think about it. Ow. 
crap, shit. Where did he go? Like, you'd think with how popular Wing was, they'd add something from there, but guess not. Or, actually, it might be because they already had two Gundams that could transform. So adding Wing Gundam, Wing Gundam probably wouldn't have helped. Yeah, I can see a few people playing like Death Sight or Death Sight or um, was it Reaper? Scythe or uh, War Machine, Death Machine, whatever the whatever the one with all the rocket launchers and machine guns was. Kazan would know, but he is still off getting liquids and hydration. Okay, fucker. Smug noises. I'm doing surprisingly well with this. In a way I wasn't expecting. All that time with Izaku really got me prepared for the, uh... The fucking Dom upgrade, apparently. So as long as we at least capture the first point and a little bit of the second, uh, we win the match. I think. Oh, no, wait, we have to capture all the objectives. That's what it is, because then we get two. Let's do Pale Rider. We, we've done all the others. If I, if I don't do very well with Pale Rider, I'll swap back over to um, the Zaku too. Or the Musai. The Mu Musas? Musai? Yeah. Tazarin will correct me later. You're doing fine, pilot. Keep it up. Thank you. Quick and clean, no problem. So we have seventeen eliminations in a mech and four deaths, so that's pretty good. All oh, right, and I can name down sight with this. You know, it just occurred to me. I said earlier I was going to do the tutorial. I did not do the tutorial. Well, at least on camera. I obviously did it last night. Because that's the first thing it has you do before you get booted to the main menu, is um, you have to complete the tutorial. Oh yeah, the only complaint I have with this game, you can't destroy the vehicles. <laughs> like, these are all model objects that you cannot destroy. Yeah, three player kill streak already? Or was that just two? That was two. That was two. Well, now it's three. That that was not the button I wanted. Let's go get it. Hello, Haro. 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 
I thought that was a Leo for a second. I really do just have fucking Gundam Wing on the brain, don't I? Oh, you know what would be an absolutely amazing game mode? Um, fucking, like, a conquest match, but you have to, like, properly support, you know, armored elements that aren't just your mech. So you have to support, like, you know, mechanized infantry, basically, as they're pushing to capture an objective. Oh, that would be an amazing game mode. That GM, that'd be amazing. Yup. Damn, I got too greedy. I tried to kill the. Um, it was either a Zaku. No, it wasn't a Zaku. It was a Dom or a Gun Tank. One of the two. It had big cannons on it. Oh yeah, that's a question for Taz when he gets back. The Hades system. Yep, and we win. As long as you do slightly better than the enemy team, you win. And now I... Th oh, yep. Yeah. So if you capture more of the objective or you do it faster... Very hungry and decide to make food. Okay. Gotcha. Alright, let's go do the tutorial then, because I said I would. So we got 150 here. There we go. <laughs> now it is a red Gundam. Oh, no. Hedy's system is powered by souls. Ah! Okay then. Good to know. <laughs> it was. I asked the question, but I wasn't ready for the answer. Which is surprising, considering the other shit that I've already been told about some of these. Hmm. You know what? I would happily... Like, I don't know if they ever do this. I would happily pay for, like, a story campaign for this game. If it's, like, you know, free-to-play multiplayer, but there's an actual campaign or something. Or, like... Two or three side missions you can do with each Gundam or mobile suit. I would happily pay for that. That sounds like something fun to do with uh, these these mobile suits and the game. Especially with these environments, these look gorgeous. There's, there's a few low texture things, you know, like these trees and stuff, but oh, I would love that. Target location. Use jump to climb the platforms and reach the target location. Hold jump briefly to perform a high jump. Holding jump even longer allows you to hover in midair. But Already ahead of you, game. Phase complete. Motor controls look good. Let's move on to the uh -oh. move to the target location. <laughs> Oops. Okay, good to know. Pale Rider can't swim. Also, it's important for me to take notes of these things, because, um... I have military bases to design as well, so, like, bridges and underground tunnels would probably be a good thing to do. Although, maybe not underground tunnels, considering, you know, the voids on a sky continent. So, maybe underground tunnels, not so much, but, like, definitely for, um... Canyon bases and stuff. I'm doing so well, the tutorial can't keep up. Oh, 
I hope it didn't reset my voice thing. Not all skills are offensive in nature. Use your repair pipe skill to restore your damaged mobile skills. Lady, that's dangerous. Do you realize what could happen if the souls in this thing fucking release? Because I don't. Yeah, that sounds about right. A GM can kill a Zaku only with the help of the main character. Oh, nope. Thank you, GM. I'm sure that guy ejected. Also, I'm curious what the fuck happened to this city, or if it was just made this way for, um... Oh, G maneuver, right. Hades activated. Fuck off, game. Ejection system is installed on Tuesday. Uh oh. Oh fuck, I want to do building in Minecraft now because I want to do like, there's a lot of things I want to do on the modded server. Also I need to, you know, merge my Microsoft and Mojang account, unfortunately. I'm sorry my fair Zaku, you and I were placed on the wrong sides of the war. I win. Uh, it looks like we are approaching QR, so... I think after this... Uh, tutorial, I'm gonna wrap up for the day. We will... Actually, no, tomorrow is LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. So, that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. I'll probably play this on my own. Uh, Sunday, probably more Gundam Evolution, if people want it. Or we will do LEGO Star Wars. Are they just dropping it in the sky? Don't expect too much. But yeah, I would very happily play like single player missions or PvE content because honestly for me, that's what Overwatch was missing. Makes me want to play more Nimbus. Go do that. It looks fun. But yeah, the, the one thing that Overwatch was missing for me was um, dedicated single player missions. I know Overwatch 2 is supposed to have a campaign, but let's be honest, we're never getting Overwatch 2. <laughs> that's not happening. And, uh, the PvE missions they did have, you could only play during, what was it, the the records event, was it, I think? Um, or whatever the hell it was called, where you, like, declassified mission files from the original Overwatch team and all that, so... I, I wish they hadn't made those like limited time activity and just made them available to do whenever because that was a pain in the ass. I don't even know if they did any more of those events. Maybe. But 
That will be all for today, folks. I have been Kixadoya, and we have done Gundam things today. Finally. After, like, three fucking attempts. Now with the shit active blizzard is going through. Nope. Alright. Have a good rest of your day, folks. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.